Hi all, this is Island Code. In the last video we created a enumeration of genre so we could add a genre field and property to return any one of these values in our enumeration genre. However, what we didn't do was add the genre to film1. So if we go ahead and do that now. If we type in film1 dot and the sorry, that's by the way, film1 dot and then the property, so genre, and that's going to be equal to any one of those in here. But we need to prefix it by genre dot. And then we can pick from the list or type. So I'm going to go for science underscore fiction. And we've added that in there. Just to check to make sure that works, if we type in film one dot genre, come out of the reduced stock, we don't want to do that at the moment. Film one dot genre and run it from the console. Oh, it's actually it's actually going to return that that it's the fourth one in this array here. If we want to actually read off what it is, we need to write to string. Click start, and it'll actually come as science fiction. So the reason behind that, let's quickly recap that over again. Film one dot genre. It returned the four because within genre, counting from zero, remember in VB, zero, one, two, three, four. It returned the fourth in that enumeration, which is science fiction. To actually get it to run as a string, we need to write dot to string, and it'll produce the actual words of that fourth value in, in the enumeration. Okay, so now we can see that's worked. However, it's quite a long-winded way to declare properties for a new film instance. So to make this quicker, as I said, we're going to be creating a constructor. If we flick over to our film class in our VB class library, we want to create, if we scroll to the bottom, we want to create a new constructor. So if we had a comment, by then a single quote and all right constructor just so we know what's going on in here if we type sub new so it's going to create a new constructor by val so the value can't be changed id as integer this probably looks familiar because where i'm actually getting this from is for these ones, id as integer, so we know what it's going to be called. You can probably fill out the rest, but I'm going to do it anyway. Comma, by val title as string, comma, by val released as a new date. Oh. as date comma by val stock as integer and finally the new enumeration value by val genre as enumeration genre close brackets if we hit the return key we want to specify where these newly created fields within the constructor are actually going to link to so if we type me to reference yourself or not, not yourself personally, but the actual class. Me dot ID is going to be equal to the new ID field we created. Similarly, with title, me dot title equals title. Me dot released equals released. Me dot stock equals stock. Me dot genre equals genre. Now that's all that we have to do in the constructor. Just to recap, we've created a new constructor with an unchangeable ID value stored as an integer, unchangeable value of title as a string, so on and so forth, just like we've done before. Below, we've then mapped the ID that we've created for our new constructor against the value of ID that we've specified within our properties. Here. Okay. 
to cool this constructor, we need to go into our class one dot vb, and we can go ahead and create a new film. What you will notice that film one isn't actually like in this because it, it now thinks that it should be formatted in such a way of our new constructor. To get around this, if we create a new sub or a new constructor that passes no argument and ends it straight away, it will then allow our old method to run because we're passing no arguments into that method. So going back to our new constructor, if we create a new film called well dim film two this time as new film. Now if we open our brackets we can now pass in all of the if you start typing all of these variables that we've just declared in our film class. Which means passing an ID as an integer, title as a string, release as a date, so on and so forth. And it'll also prompt you below as you're typing. So an ID, if we type in an ID of 66 as an integer for instance, followed by a comma, it will then move us on to title as string. If you can remember before, a string has to be wrapped in quotes. So this time if we go for not the matrix, we've already done it. Aliens, wrapped in quotes, comma, it moves on to release date. We still need to type new date, followed by a bracket, the year, 1986, the month, and the day. Close brackets. We can then move on to after we put a comma, stock as integer. So the stock level, if we go ahead and type in, I don't know, two, perhaps. And finally finish with a genre dot, whichever the genre we'd like to do. So again, Aliens is a science fiction film. And we wrap that in the brackets. To prove that this has worked, if we get rid of our console dot right line film one dot genre to string and change this within the brackets to film two dot and then any value or any property of that film that you'd like to see. So I'm going to go ahead and type title. Mm -hmm. Film two dot title. So in theory, once we click start, it should input aliens to the console. And we've got aliens in there.